Hello, my name is Michael Harbett. I'm a professor of internal medicine at Wayne State University in Detroit, and I'm the director of the Environmental Cancer Program at Carmanos Cancer Institute, also in Detroit. Carmanos Cancer Institute is a cancer centers and is one of the National Cancer Institute, Institute Centers of Excellence. There are also some data which show that the uh, that some of the animal life and some of the fish life may uh, may eat some of these uh, uh, petroleum products, and there may be mutagens or carcinogens uh, form in the life uh, form or in the fish or whatever uh, sea living creature we're talking about, which ultimately could become food. Um, in terms of mutagens and what are called endocrine dis disruptors, many of the chemicals in the uh, that go into making up this petroleum mixture um, have been implicated as what are called endocrine disruptors, meaning that they're recognized by the, uh, by the body as being hormones, and most often female hormones. Um, there is discussion and there is information in the literature which says that the ingestion of agents which uh, cause the creation of these endocrine disruptors may contribute to the uh, actual epidemic in the United States of uh, um, the early onset of menses, precocious puberty, and possibly some of the uh, uh, testicular abnormalities we've seen in, uh, in animal uh, life. Nobody knows for sure, but um, it's certainly the 900-pound gorilla in the room, if you will, along with the other two 900-pound gorillas being the uh, mutagens and the uh, carcinogens. We might see fish with uh, tumors coming up in the next three or four years or fish with uh, mutated gills, uh, mutated uh, fins, and things like that. Paul tells me the mutations in fish mean changes in their DNA, and that could affect commercial fisheries. That means that they can be inherited and they're, they're permanent. Right now, USF's College of Marine Science has 27 projects funded by BP Money to delve deeper into Gulf research and recovery. I think the government is well aware, the people I've talked to, the NOAA administrator, Dr. Lubitschenko, is very well that we got a long-term issue. 